Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited, episode 9. We are still lost and meandering on the Paragus Mining Station. We're about to enter through the mining tunnels, and, uh, with nothing but our skivvies and a sword. Because, of course. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Who needs armor? Uh, hmm. Stay off the comm link. What do you want? Yes, for a minute I thought you were Kira. Uh, no, nah, let's go with uh, Barely. There's a lot of static. There's a lot of interference down there. Probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragas fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. How did kids make it into the Star Wars universe? I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> if you have any, <laughs> I really want to, but I know it'll get me the dark side points. If you have anything else useless to say in the future, keep it to yourself. Uh, I don't want any of your advice, so keep the channel clear. Alert me immediately if you pick anything else up. Uh, all right, I'll be careful then. Will do. And be careful down there. Well, nah, I thought I was just going to recklessly run around nearly naked with a sword. What's in the container? Oh! Clothes! Nice. And a mining shield. And some... Uh, ooh, a safety harness. That's almost certainly good. Find the emergency supplies? Um... Yep. Yes. <laughs> I was in the middle of finding more supplies, but, you know, I don't see that as a conversation option, so, uh... I'm feeling a little thin. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines, and the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Gotcha. Um, let's go. There's some kind of energy shield in this crate too. All right, sounds useful. <laughs> All right. And I do like that. If you don't know how the shields work, it gives you a couple of options for that, but we're just going to go with got it. Let's go. Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. Okay. Um, I can handle it. I don't want any advice. Any advice? Can I sneak by them? I've got half of those. Primarily to detect Will that work? Deposits. The good thing is, that explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. Um. Alright, anything else? There should be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Alright. Can I finish looting now? Oh, just components and parts. Alright, let me, uh armor up first and put on the survey gear so that'll bump my awareness now and give me damage resistance 5 versus sonic always nice okay fancy headgear no implants do we have gloves nope not yet let's uh put on the miner uniform hey we're clothed again and let's grab a paragus mining shield we could pick the stealth field generator but uh, you gotta have the stealth skill, and I didn't put any points in that because I ain't doing the stealth thing. It didn't work out well in Knights of the Old Republic 1, and I don't see it working out well here. I'm pretty sure for those few cases where it would be really handy, I can use a minion for that. Well, once I get minions. So instead, let me get the safety harness, which will bump my demolitions by one, which does shore up a weak skill. And... No additional weapons, sadly. But that should be everything there. All right. All right. Oh, come on, man. I can't step over the body. 
Alright, multiple airlocks and... Dun, 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 dun. Huh. Alright, let's uh... Do we have the skill to recover the mine? Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines. <laughs> Thank you. Don't run unless you have to. <laughs> Makes them harder to spot. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them again. <sighs> that is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. <laughs> Actually, that is a very good question. Why are there so many charges down here? Oh. Watch out. They may use their undeployed charges as projectiles. That's good to know. Understood. Now, let's try to get back to recovering the mine. Nope. Now, here, here's the thing. Uh, Force Valor gives you a bump to all your stats. Thank you for that. Did that bump up my stats enough that I have enough of a, uh... Recover? Yeah! <laughs> nice. Oh, all that for... Well, no, 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 I got some mines. That'll come into use later, too. Alright, so far so good. You're just parts, aren't you? Yeah, you're just parts. I mean... Don't don't hear it, I'm not saying as soon as I find a station, I'm building myself a bigger sword. Alright, uh, I get a funny feeling... Oh no, because that's where I came from, so that is my last hallway. Reactivate the droid... Hmm... I've got 10 parts, but I, I don't feel like I've got enough to just start spending them willy-nilly, especially since I don't have easy access to a station. So instead of trying to reactivate the droid to get it to help me, I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone. I kind of wish I could loot it for everything it had, but that's not an option, so... Oh well. Alright, Progress Mining Shield is my top one. Alright, do I want to crit or flurry this guy? Actually, his attack's low enough that I might be able to power attack him. Let's just queue up a couple of those. Wham! No! With the big swings! That's why we gave you those... That's why we gave you all that strength. Bam! Like, seriously, why do we give you the strength if you're not going to power attack? Component, ooh. More sonic grenades. Oh yeah. Uh, let's toss one of those. Solve that problem before we have to worry too much about it. I'm tempted to toss another grenade, but I get the funny feeling they're running after me. Oh no, they're not. How many can we take out with that one grenade? A couple of them, apparently. Except that guy for some reason. target you first. Alright, let's start cutting through these guys. Bam! Oh, oh. Alright, health is still looking okay. Keep up those power attacks, man. Make it quick. There we go. 
All right, now let's go back and loot. If there's anything to loot. All right, so we started with that guy. That is not lootable. We got everything over here. Let's see, what you got? Battle stems, components, med pack, credits, and an advanced mining laser. Okay. I am curious though, is that better or worse than the sonic rifle I got? The sonic rifle is 2 to 14. And it is upgradable. And that's 1 to 12. But a higher crit. Oh, heck no. We're going with the 2 to 14. Okay. Well, we'll have to give uh, T3M4 the uh, the upgraded laser when we get a chance to. Anything else to loot? <laughs> I, I love how we're getting all these credits. Uh. Seventy-three bucks. I, I guess I can take that. Another mining shield, an energy shield. Yeah, because we're we're gonna make use of those as we go along. Like this spot right here, we're pretty much gonna have to, because yep. Thank you. Understood. So we're going to do the mining shield. Sprint. Skill too low, huh? Ah, come on. Fine. All right, let's uh, take care of these guys real quick. Let's flurry you. Nope, that wasn't quite what I meant, but sure, we'll take it. That's what I wanted. Come here, you little ball of frustration. Thank you. Alright, before we go over there, let's try to finish what we were working on over... Oh! I also need to heal. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Usable. Uh, med pack. Use item. And one more. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize that we had uh, we were able to level up. Doggone it, because they heal you when you level up. All right, live and learn. Let's uh, let's level up, and we get to pick some skills. We were gonna keep security maxed out, and we we're gonna keep persuade maxed out, and computer use maxed out. And then I can put it in Awareness or Treat Injury. Oh, wait, no, I got two more points. All right, so then we'll go Awareness and Treat Injury. Um, I might... Or do I want to bump up the Treat Injury more? Because the Treat Injury is how you make your own med packs and that sort of thing. And I want to say there was something else, something with the crafting. I forget which skill it works off of, but there's a skill that you can use that will actually increase your recovery rate for when you break down stems and med packs and things. And I want to say that's your treat injury. So let's drop that down by one and oh, bump that up to five and try to get that caught up. All right, so we got our skills. Let's pick our feats now. 
So we've already got two weapon fighting. We can't take improved two weapon fighting yet. We've got critical strike. We can't take improved yet. We, uh, no, we're not taking caution. We're not taking empathy. We can't improve our flurry yet. That's not to level four. Oh, we're definitely not taking gearhead. Conditioning still a maybe. Uh, what are our other options? We could go ahead and start bumping up our lightsaber proficiency because we will get that eventually. Uh, and I don't want to dump the, the feats into melee weapons even though I'm not going to need them right now. So if we don't have anything else, we'll go back and drop that into the proficiency. That's going to come automatically if I remember right. Toughness is always an option. Uh, dueling. We're not doing dueling this go-around. Not with this character, at least. We don't need close combat. Yeah, because that's all for ranged characters. Regenerate force points could be nice. I have thought about adding demolitions as a class skill because there's a few more places that it becomes useful that uh, that it would be really nice to have that handy. Repair is already a class skill. Dual strike. Have, eh, not quite. We're not doing the finesse. We're not doing... We can't do mobility. Um... Really? I thought I had another option for the feet. Hmm. So conditioning and toughness are probably uh, the two very nice options. Let's uh. Now let's go ahead and drop a uh, drop the weapons focus lightsaber, so that way we'll uh we'll have that bonus when we're ready for it. Okay. And powers. Ooh. Force aura, burst of speed, heal. Oh, we can't take heal yet. Alright, so force aura gives us a plus two defense. Burst of speed. Gets you an extra plus two defense. And your movement speed is doubled and I think it's later on that actually gets you like an extra yeah the next level up gets you an extra attack per round which is always useful energy resistance is uh, definitely an option but I think I know exactly what I want where's my force push there we go I want to go shove some people around okay accept there we go And while we're here and waiting, let's go ahead and do a quick save while we're at it. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Oh. Huh. Some convenient remains. Anything else? Mines. So, let's hit up our Force Valor and see if that bumps us up enough to recover some mines. Because these things are very useful. I want to do this while my uh, ability scores have their bump. There we go. All right. Yeah, the mines get really useful for making doors not be a problem. All right, so there's one of the med packs that we uh, should have used and some other useful items. And down here was nothing. The very ever-present and helpful nothing. That's the damaged place we came from, and this is the place we're going to. Alright. Hmm. You're getting close to something big. I think it's the main <laughs> ventilation shaft. If so, the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an 
eye out for it. I'm picking up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. Yeah, not with this duration. I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. Um, yeah, what are those sensor balls? Alright. Yeah, I don't like any of this, but... By the way, did I really see one of those guys behind me? Or is that just the, uh, the game reminding me what they look like? I think that's just the game reminding me what they look like. Although, before we do that, this is where I'm going to call episode 8 done. So if you're watching live, hang tight. I just need to throw up a title screen. I'm going to take a quick coffee break to jot down a note, and then we're going to get right back into this. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.